Morning. Under a certain amount of pressure, I'm going to do a live video. Very, very quick um, idea of how I might start a painting. Um, so, obviously lots of you like me have got time on your hands and I know people are taking up all sorts of hobbies and playing musical instruments and writing poems and doing their gardens. Uh, and crocheting. Uh, so I just thought some of you might be interested in having a go at watercolour painting, which is like my thing. And uh, so I'll give you a really, really quick idea about how I might do something that's uh, something I do quite often, painting tulips. I haven't actually got any in front of me right now. I've got daffodils. Loads and loads of daffodils and I've been doing lots of daffodil paintings, but I thought I might just uh, show you how to paint tulips. So I've got some tulip coloured paints. This is my favourite shape brush and I just use the shape of the brush to uh, achieve the a very sort of stylized tulip. We'll do a few. I went into a really lovely school in Morpeth a couple of weeks ago and uh, a little bit nervous and uh, I did I did this for the children and there was this absolutely lovely little boy next to me and he said oh man that's brilliant so I thought maybe it is anyway so we've got three little tulips in a row and then I'll do the stalks this is going to be a very very quick video and I don't do teaching or anything like that. So I've, here's some green I made earlier. So stalks. And if you were thinking about maybe making a card to send to somebody, then this would be just so simple. So I've got my lovely green. And this bit's really good fun because using these flat brushes, and um, some, quite a lot of paint on it. You can just make these lovely sort of leaves that really do look like leaves just by lifting and pressing. Very like daffodil leaves as well. Um, Really, really simple. Something that you could try. I've got some slightly darker paint here, which I'm going to just sort of, while it's still wet, just sort of touch in into certain places just to almost um, hint at light and dark. I'm going to do the same to the tulips as well. Again, just to kind of hint at the at the shape of the petals. Ta da Claire. Well it is easy. It's like everything else when you've been doing it every day for years and years and years. It is easy. I'm just gonna quickly show you something else while um while well, I've got this lovely flat brush. What, if you imagine, uh, say, a cockerel here, the tail feathers, like blowing in the wind, using the same, same shape brush and the same sort of ribbon-like movement. Really, really good fun. So that was my very, very first live video. Um, and I'll do some more. Eddie Hector, very, very talented. There's only one L in talented, Eddie Hector. Um, right, I'm actually getting out of helping in the garden because it's not as warm as I thought it was going to be today. And uh, hello, Ruth Brown, taste of your own medicine. Uh, yeah, Fifey, Fifey, that's my husband. Uh, he's got a second hand greenhouse which he wants me to help put the glass in but if you look quite closely there see that scar there I got that 
a lot of years ago helping somebody put glass in a greenhouse so I'm a little bit wary about that um, so I've I'm I just told him that I had some really important scientific work to do uh, but I will give him a hand later on Louise Rose Rogers Ruth Brown it was only a matter of time before he went live hi Victoria Alder and Steve Unsworth um, wave does that mean you want me to wave hi Vicky <laughs> oh god there's poor Fifey outside raking Fidelma wary wary Fidelma why why are you wary uh, yeah, I'm blaming the phone no you really blame the phone because it's spelled talented wrong hi Emma how are you hi Donna Edward how's the ankle quick Edward how's your ankle I'd give you a sort of look around all my painting area, but I've actually stuck the phone using industrial strength um, Velcro to one of the pillars. Come on, Edward, how's the ankle? Can you run yet? Are you, are you, are you better? Can you ride your horse? Do you want to see what I did earlier? There's a daffodil painting I did yesterday. It's nearly finished nearly finished and then yesterday I well I'm still working on this little one um, pregnant sheep and this one needs a little bit more work doing fat cattle hello Leanne Macbeth how are you Edward Furlong it's getting there oh it means they're waving Petra heavy duty gloves yeah I'm going to wear gloves definitely Ah, oh, here's one which whoops I started quite a while ago like hounds coming out of the out of the wagon they usually have like quite a small door and they just burst out so that needs a little bit more work doing to it Ruth Brown what's your favorite brush a brush with fate Ruth here's another little duck that needs finishing obviously we need eyes and things for that one <laughs> Oh, there's another one. I just started it. It's got a long way to go, but it gives you an idea about how I just sort of block out areas um, with quite intense colour and then build it up. Tomorrow's video will be better. It'll be better planned. And I thought I might actually um, make a bit more of an effort because obviously I've let things slip in the personal not hygiene, but like presentation department. There's no makeup, no nothing. And fortunately at this angle, you can't see that I'm turning into a raccoon with a sort of gray stripe coming along here. So anyway, hi Mary. My mother-in-law is Mary Rogers with a D, also an artist. Let's see what she does next. Um, right. Well, it's been really lovely. First time for everything. Maybe I'll do another one at 12 tomorrow. Okie doke. Bye, everyone. Bye, Roddy. Bye, Paul.